Hey guys, I'm replacing my uh, laundry sink cabinet today, upgrading to this new one I just picked up at Home Depot. So I'm gonna do a quick video of the setup and then I'll do a follow-up video of the actual installation and replacement. This is all in one kit, so this comes with everything. The cabinet, uh, the, sink cap the sink, the faucet, hoses, and so on. It's stainless steel, that's why I'm upgrading to it. I'm sick of the plastic getting dirty. So let's see what's inside and get this built. Alright. So I guess I'm going to toss it in here. Assembly hardware. Doesn't look like it's scratched up, that's a good sign. That's what it looks like. Pretty sweet. Let me show you all the other stuff. Alright, so we got the cabinet. This is the cabinet base that's gonna go under. We're gonna install that first. Nice stainless steel sink. Directions. A couple of screws to install the base. A strainer. Actually, it's really nice quality. Solid stainless. It doesn't come with the drain piping, so if you don't have the old ones, you are gonna have to pick that up. Touch up pen. That's pretty cool. The hinges and then the faucet looks decent quality nothing crazy plastic over here but the rest is stainless and it extends out so that's pretty cool these are look to be half inch so remember to have the right connection for water and then you might have to get adapters so let's set this thing up around so we can install the base. I have a soft surface under, I do have padding under there. Under the base, looks to be the same. So for the cleaner side, we put that to the front. There's some pre-drilled holes here, so line that up with that. I'm gonna get a, a, a screws over here. No. Get a Phillips screwdriver, just screw them in. It's just a couple of little screws, nothing fancy. That's really it. One, two, and flip it back around. This is protect protective plastic here, so we can remove this when we're done. Next. Alright, next we're gonna install the hinges. Very simple, it's a couple of screws. Just line it up. Tighten it down. We're gonna do that on both sides. That's it for the hinges. Make sure you remove all the plastic, otherwise you're gonna clamp it down here. And it's gonna be stuck. You're gonna have to unscrew it. That's all we get. That's how the hinges go on. Right, that's about it for the cabinet. Now we're gonna set up the faucet. So this is already all. Got the seal right here. So quick connectors, fast uh, mount uh, tightener. It's very simple. No more screws on. Bolts and nuts and all that stuff. All we do is drop all the way through here. And adjust this. And finally tighten it. I'm gonna get this.
capacitor connector get it through all the hoses and now we're just going to tighten this down that's about it so this part's done this thing's not going anywhere very easy now we're going to connect the hose to the black hose that's for the extension Make sure it clicks in. If it clicks in, you're good. It's in. These two are going to the wall, so we're not doing anything until we actually set this up. This is the weight that's going to keep this tight up here all the time. So there's a marking here. It says weight here. So all we're going to take, some of them have a screw you tighten, this one doesn't. This one has this plastic clip that it says up. So we're going to put it, put it right here in the middle. Then I'm gonna slide this over it. And it's just gonna click in there, and it's not going anywhere. And now, as you see, this keeps the weight down. So every time you pull this up, weight is down. So before I put this into the cabinet, I've got to put in the strainer. So you can technically do it when it's in the cabinet, but I want to give you guys a better angle uh, so you can see better what I'm doing. There's a few pieces here. So you got the body, you got the foam washer that's gonna go on top. Then you got the heavy duty black rubber washer that's going to go under it, uh, paper washer that's also going under it, and then the nut. So we're going to take this part, we're going to take the paper and the rubber washer off, leave the foam one on, slide this in here. There's a little logo, so I want to line that up. Just the rubber washer against the body. Tighten this up. That's it, it's installed. Use a wrench to give it a full tighten. I'll do it at one end, so already set up. This part will unscrew to connect the drain pipes. This is what it looks like. So this is all set up. They tell you now in the manual to put an adhesive over here. So you can glue this down, something that works for metal and wood, or laminate, whatever this is. Um, I have this uh, GE Paintable Silicone Supreme and Depp Dynaflex Ultra, so I'm probably going to use this. I use this on my outside windows, heavy duty stuff. It will work just fine. But I'm not doing that yet because still have to put it in its place so I want to bring it to the basement we'll install it then we'll use this this piece gets screwed into your studs and your walls to make sure it's all safe and secure nothing tips over one cool feature is it does have soft closed doors so they don't slam hopefully it will give you longer life put this thing back in and see what it looks like and that's about it I like this feature that this is nice and high my old one is low um, stainless steel should hold up nice. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and check out my second video when I install this guy.